I traveled to find Lady Fatima Zahra, peace be upon her, but you won't believe who I found. I traveled round to the Middle East where it smelled of herbs, long roads, past hills and hot deserts. By the seas there was a cool breeze. My mother told me that no one knows where Lady Fatima is buried and that most Muslims don't know what's happened to her. But I wanted to find her. I came to ancient Petra in Jordan to relive the footsteps of Fatima's father, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, and to imagine who he would have seen here and how he would have traveled long before she was born. He would have been around 24. Did he look up and wonder how the people would treat her, his daughter, in the future? Would they honor her or would they hurt her? And once she is gone, would they remember her? Would they visit her and respect her? Or would they leave her and desert her and return to their idols? Did her father walk through these ancient pathways like I do? Did he look at these ancient shrines and wonder where his daughter's shrine would be? Did he wonder how his daughter would die as a teen? Does no one ask these things? Does no one care? Ancient Palestine, I stop and stare. Can I find you here, Lady Fatima? Do they know you? Masjid al-Aqsa, how many of your ancient ancestors are buried here or close to? Allah took your father to the heavens from here. But how many children have heard of you here? How many adults know you, my dear? I wanted to shout from the rooftops, where is the Prophet's daughter? Where is the one who will be the first to meet him in paradise and greet him? He said, whoever harms you, harms him. And whoever angers you, angers him. Who were you angry with when you died, Ya Zahra? I traveled south to find out more. Mecca, the birthplace of Islam. People rushing round to save time. But what's the point of time if we don't use it to serve the Prophet's child? to remember her life. The people took her mother's life when she was a child and her father's peace of mind and they took her father's life when she was just a teen. I came to Masjid al-Haram to remember Abu Jahal's hatred when he encouraged people to throw rubbish on your father's head when he prayed here. When they mocked him and assaulted him, no one was brave enough to stand up to them except you, Lady Fatima. Do you remember when your father said, Maryam was the lady of the women of her time, but my daughter Fatima is the lady of the women of all time. He really loved you. Where are you Fatima? Where are you? I came to run between Safa and Marwa. Look at us, Lady Fatima. We relive Lady Hajar's pain for water for her son. We don't relive the larger pain of Hussein's no water, your son as he lay dying in the heat of the sun. Forgive us, Lady Fatima, forgive us. Medina, where you played, where you prayed, where you lived. I'm closer, aren't I, Lady Fatima? This is where they cracked your ribs. They kill your father. They oppress your husband. They steal your land. They force the door against your hand and crush you to the wall, you land. The floor is blood, your eyes flood with tears. I came to find you, Lady Fatima, but I found somebody else. I found myself not there to defend you. I found myself grieving your sorrow, but I can help the Mahdi, your descendant, and I will find him today or tomorrow. <laughs>